Hello and welcome my friends, the Iron Hulk is back bringing you a fantastic review. Today we are reviewing the Play Arts Kai Metal Gear Rising Raiden figure. Yeah, he's not in the box obviously, but we got some cool details going on here. You know, we got the logo, we got some cool symbols here, a little lightning on the sides, not bad. Um, on the side of the box, got a little tiny window um, that is in, in the shape of Raiden's blade, and you got some thunder coming off of that. That's kind of neat. And then on the back part, we got a picture of Raiden looking cool. We got um, some cool pose shots, and um, it's pretty neat. Not bad. Not a bad thing going on here. The other side, just the same thing. So, uh, with a little Raiden down here. Hey, Raiden. All right, so you didn't come here to see this thing. You came to see good old Raiden. Here he is. Boy, what can I say about this guy? This guy is freaking awesome. He, um, he's kind of expensive, um, in, in, in terms of, you know, just trying to get him. Um, just, let's say, hey. I think I'm going to go by riding today. You know, it's like, hey, I, I kind of need to invest before I, uh, before I buy this guy. Because um, he, um, he's not cheap. You know, he, I remember the pre-order price was like 69 So he was like 70 bucks. I paid 80 bucks for him, um, which is $10 more. But if you see how much he's going for on eBay, uh, yeah, he, 80 bucks is kind of a steal. And I got free shipping with Amazon Prime, so... You know, it's just kind of one of those situations where you, you're you like, all right, I'm doing it. Um, but yeah, detail-wise, this guy is crazy cool. I'm going to close up here so you guys can have a closer look at the wonderful Raiden. The paint job is just freaking, hey, Play Arts, you're doing good, finally, thank you. You weren't doing bad before, but you're definitely, you're on the ball. Um... The, the I just love the metallic look to him. You know, when you shine a, a nice bright light um, on his on his armor, he just looks freaking awesome. Now his face sculpt. Here's a uh, hello outlets in the back. Here's kind of my one nitpick. It's not the greatest head sculpt. Um, you know, the paint's fine and everything. It just doesn't really look like Raiden to me. It just looks like. Some creepy hobo man with a scarf over his, with a, you know, an eye patch over his, his face. You know, it's okay, it's fine, we're doing okay. You know, he still, he still resembles Raiden, but, you know, Play Arts has never been really that great with their head sculpts. Um, and Raiden is one of them. But, he still looks freaking awesome. And there is an extra accessory to kind of cover that piece up, which I will talk about in a second. Um, but yeah, we'll go down and see more of his detail here. We got his legs. He's got, you know, his play arts, they, they like them big girly legs. I don't know why, but he's got some big legs. Um, I don't remember him being this big in the game, but there you go. He's got girly legs. Yep. Girl legs. All right, anyways, moving on. Um, let's get on to the articulation of this guy. Right, I'm gonna remove your sword real quick here. Um, he's got uh, ball jointed arms. He's got swivel uh, biceps. Um, he's got the ratchet elbow joints, very common in play arts. You know, I kind of wish they would go higher than this, but um, what are you gonna do? He's got the ball joint uh, wrists, so you can do some cool stuff like that. And then he's got the head movement on the ball joint. Pretty sweet. Um, and the cool thing is, his chest actually moves forward. You can do that, kind of. So you can kind of see that moving. So that's kind of neat. Um, you know, he's got the mid waist ball joint movement, and then the bottom. Um, he's got the diaper still, but the di I, di this diaper isn't bad. It doesn't look like a diaper. It makes me happy because a lot of Play Arts figures just got that gross diaper going on. This is actually pretty neat. I like it. It's cool. Um, he's got the ratchet legs. Oops, something just fell out. Oh, his hair piece just fell out. Look, now he looks like Doc Brown. Um, he's got the ratchet legs. You can kind of have fun with that. Ratchet knees. 
and then ball joint, ratchet ankles. So he's got a good amount of articulation going on here. Um, so, you know, you can give him some, some cool poses and, and whatnot, but you can't give him uh, extreme poses. So that kind of sucks. But yeah, let's move on to accessories. So Raiden comes with a good amount of accessories. Um, he comes with his uh, small little knives here that you can take out and um, put them in his hand or his, or his feet. Um, he has his uh, blade holster here, which actually fits both of these small, this small blade, which goes in here, and then the big blade that goes right in here. So that's pretty sweet. I actually do really like this. And it has an articulation joint where um, you can move it around and put it in any pose you want. But it's a little loose here, so it doesn't really stay too well. Which is kind of disappointing, but, um, you know, whatever. So yeah, closer look at the blades here. Pretty sweet. Um, they're plain, you know, I kind of wish they had, had a little bit more detail to them. But it works. They look cool. He's got his feet here that you can, um, you can attach a knife to. Which um, I always thought was frickin' cool in the game. Come on. Focus for me here, buddy. Here we go. So you can attach that to his foot, and he just kind of does that. Um, here's the other foot. And this is my favorite part. I love the mask in the game. Um, I'm going to show you how you do it. You just His, his hair already fell out earlier, so you just kind of pop this little tab in to his face. And um, there you go. Now he's got his face covered. And it's weird because this, this material is really rubbery, so it kind of feels cheap, but it's still very sturdy. And, um, yeah, and it's awesome. It's really cool. Raiden looks like he's ready to frickin' own everyone. Hey, hey, there you go, Raiden. The final accessories that Raiden comes with is this hunk of crap. I saw a review of, um, I think it was Devil May Cry figures, what, something that came with this stand. And they were complaining, and I was just like, oh, come on, it can't be that bad. It, it, it's, it's bad. It's a piece of crap. Um, first of all, the, the thing comes in, like, a, um, like a build, uh, construction, like, Gundam type of thing. So you have to put it together. You have to put this whole thing together. You have to attach these little guys together. Um, it comes with instructions and stuff, so it's not, like, you know, it's not pain in the butt or anything. It's just kind of inconvenient, you know, when you got just this awesome figure, and then they give you this really shitty stand where, um, you know, to, to change the, the height of the, of the stand of the holster up here, you have to, like, force, like, you, you literally have to force this thing out, and then you're afraid that it might break, because this plastic ain't very sturdy. It's kind of cheap. Um, I mean, it's cool that they're giving us, giving us a stand, but the fact that this stand is pretty gnarly, it's not, it's not that great, um, it's just kind of disappointing, I guess. Um, of course, there are stands out there that you can buy, but they're pretty expensive. Um, so, yeah, there you go, this piece of crap. But overall, let's get Raiden back up here. Look at this guy. This guy's cool. Overall, I think... I think Raiden's a great figure. He, you know, he's he's a player's figure, so he's got the, he's got the, you know, same type of articulation and gimmicks as most of them. Um, he's pretty good at standing on his own, so that's cool. Um, I guess my verdict with this figure is, yes, buy him. Um, just don't spend over, I'd say, don't spend over a hundred bucks. Um, he's cool, but he's still a play arts figure. He still has, you know, he, he's not a Hot Toys figure. But he is definitely a guy you want to keep for a while, because I'm sure he will go up in price rather quickly. Um, so yeah, that, that's it. Um, I, I guess I give this figure a, a solid 9 out of 10. Um, despite the stand, I really like this guy. He looks great in display next to uh, Snake and Big Boss. And, um, and I'm looking forward to seeing some future releases from Play Arts with the Metal Gear Rising line and MGS5. <laughs> Whoa, MGS5, holy crap. But um, yeah, so until next time, my friends, the Iron Hulk is signing off. Get ready, there, are, there, there, there will be some crazy big news coming up. So, adios, my friends.